as you can see this morning it's miserable and it's raining so can I make an interesting vlog can't get out can't go anywhere storm freighters on its way I think I can think of something to make an interesting vlog for this week and I'll see what I can use I know pinhole photography that's what I'll make a vlog on today my pinhole camera see you in a minute This is my pinhole camera, it's a new pinhole which I got off an auction site that's available on the internet. It has an f-stop of 214 so when you take your photograph with it You've got to really use it with a tripod, you can't really use it handheld. This camera is available, you can shoot it in 6x6, 6x12 or 6x9. It takes 120 film. Normally I use Fuji ACOS in this because it's a good film because the, the exposures are going to be quite long it's a good film to use this is the inside of the camera as you can see it's all painted black it's all reducing the light inside your 120 film goes in on this side the camera's actually set at the moment to shoot at 6.6 .6. the other slot at the side is for the 6.9 or if you don't want to take this slots out altogether you can shoot it at 6.12 there's a reel where your film will be wound onto and then your two winding wheels to advance your frames when you shot with your picture it's an excellent camera it takes some excellent pictures and it's quite easy to use to use the camera I have a app on my phone. It's quite simple to use. It's called Light Meter. And I just tap the app and it opens up. I put the square on whatever I want to photograph. And that gives me the reading that I need to take the photograph. Set it at F22, ISO 100 or whatever uh, film speed that you're using. Quite a simple app to use, very simple, not very hard. What that does then, what you get with the camera, what you get with the camera when you buy it is a chart. And on that chart, it gives you your film speeds. So, whatever the reading you get from your light meter if it's good light and it says the speed is uh, one thirtieth of a second you get your chart you read find where one thirtieth of a second is on the chart look across and that tells you how long the exposure is you're going to need and in this case one thirtieth of a second will give you a seven second exposure so you would open your shutter in your head or whatever or use your watch count seven seconds close the shutter and then advance your film on for your next shot very simple to use very easy you've got your black dots on here which give you your how to give you the guide really because you're basically shooting blind you don't have a uh, a viewfinder to look through so you can't really see what you're doing so you just use these dots to give you a visual 
of where you want to place your framing and your composition of your picture. It's just like using a camera, you, you just got to visualise it in your head, the frame and the composition that you want and set your camera up. And hopefully, take your exposure with your light meter, get your reading and then open the shutter for that length of time and hopefully you've, you've got an excellent black and white photograph or colour photograph if you want to use colour film. I only use black and white. So this is a cracking camera, didn't cost a lot of money and if you want to do something different, want to do something out of the ordinary with photography and it, this is the oldest form of photography that, that there is. This is how photography first started way back using pinholes to project an image onto a film or onto a plate. This is basic, basic photography and you have to do it all manually. And it's and it's and it, you get a good feeling when you get a, a really good photograph from it. You get you think, oh, I've really achieved something as a photographer through using this sort of uh, equipment. Not like digital, which basically auto focus, everything, readings is all done for you. Click, take the shot. This is basic photography, and I find it interesting. And the camera takes some excellent black and white pictures. enjoyed it. See you next week with another vlog on black and white photography. Thank you very much. Click the button to subscribe. See you next week.